Hello and welcome to Wageningen University in Research. I'm Lizzie and in this video I'm joined by two people from the Masters of Environmental Sciences. So let's start off with some introductions. Yes, hi, my name is Susanna Tuju. Um, I'm originally from Tanzania and I'm a staff advisor of Environmental Sciences and Master Urban Environmental Management program. My name is Bethlehem Heilig-Jörges. I'm from Ethiopia. I'm doing Masters in Environmental Sciences specialization in water systems and global change. So in this video, we are going to provide you with some more information about the Masters of Environmental Sciences. So can you please explain what the program is about? Yes, uh, the Master in Environmental Sciences, it, it, it looks on how people mm -hmm. um, affect the environment, but also um, what changes they bring about. But also, uh, um, what does this mean to the next generation? Yes. Excellent. And why did you choose this program? Uh, it has a broader option in relation to the other programs I've seen in, in Wageningen University. And at first, uh, you don't really know what you're going to choose. So it would be nice to have a broader program to choose from after you start mm, your program. Course, so yes. we de I decided to go to the environmental science. And what specializations are available in the program? Yes, uh, environmental sciences is quite broad, so we have 10 specializations. But these 10 specializations are based, we look at four key issues, mm -hmm. and that is process, causes, solutions, and consequences. Now, for students who are interested on a process side, um, they will look more at system analysis and natural sciences tracks. And for students who are more interested at social part, they will look more at causes, solutions, but also touch a little bit on the process side. And uh, for the consequences and solutions, these are students who are more mm -hmm. interested on technology. So they will more look at the, uh, at the technology, of mm -hmm. course, what innovation, should, what the solution yeah. should be of a problem. Uh, and so basically these 10 specializations we look at, uh, as you can see, the top six one, they're more on a process side. And the other three, uh, orange one, like water system and global change, uh, policy and economy, they're more on a social part and environmental technology that is more on a technology part. So yeah, the student can really yeah. see or uh, choose really uh, where he belongs and which specialization he would like to do. So we have quite a lot of choices. And what courses are in this program? Yes, uh, based of the example of the course Shadow, as you can see, um, the first period we have uh, those courses which are compulsory. Uh, but these causes are discussable with the study advisor. Mm -hmm. If you have already the background of environmental sciences, then you don't have to do them. You can uh, choose any other course. In period two, um, we have a free choice course, so students can do anything, uh, any course from any chair group they wish. Uh, but also we have a compulsory course for your thesis in the afternoon. Uh, for period three, four, and five, as you can see, the green courses, uh, the one with green color, these are the base, the main causes for your thesis track. So a student can either choose to do them both or to choose only one of it. And again, in period four, you have a free choice. For period five afternoon is again a compulsory course. But then in period six, we have uh, projects. These are workshops. Uh, so you have three choices over there. And if you choose European workshop, uh, for example, partly you do it abroad and partly mm -hmm. you can do it in Wageningen. Uh, the second year is, uh, is, is really your thesis, and this is uh, uh, being uh, supervised from the chair group. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and then we have also internship, and the internship is the initiative of the student himself to find the internship, but also um, we have uh, um, some networking from Wageningen University itself. Yeah. Yeah. And so what was the most exciting course that you've done in this program, and why? There are two courses that came that come to mind when I think of courses. The first one is a compulsory one. It's environmental quality and governance. Mm -hmm. In this course, we cover a lot of topics, and but also we have simulations, essay writing, and a lot of interesting lectures. And mm -hmm. the second one is uh, integrated water management. Mm -hmm. And in this course, we had a lot of case studies, a lot of case guest lectures, and we had we had the opportunity to write our own project proposal, which was really interesting and helpful in our thesis program. 
And so, have you already started your thesis? Yes, I have. And what's your thesis on? The title is Integrated Global Water Quality and Wastewater Treatment Status Assessment to Improve Global Water Security. <laughs> it's a long title, yes. yeah. <laughs> but the idea is to combine the concept of wastewater treatment with the water quality status of the world mm -hmm. to come up with an overall idea of what's yeah. happening in the, water, in the global water. Yeah, sounds quite interesting. Yeah. So on to the general admissions process. What are some relevant bachelor's degrees or background knowledge that is required for this program? Yes, for environmental sciences, we need a, a Bachelor of Environmental Sciences or related on natural sciences, mm -hmm. technology, a technical, uh, but also social sciences. Mm -hmm. uh, those are the basic requirement for to be admitted for environmental sciences. Okay. Yeah. And what are some typical jobs that graduates of this program end up with? Yes, we have a lot of uh, different types of jobs. Uh, as you can see, we have like healthcare, consultancy, trade and industry, government, organization, association, and also education and research. Mm -hmm. So our students have a lot, uh, because of the 10 specialization, they have a lot of choices they can choose. Mm -hmm. um, it takes three months for a student to, uh, uh, to find a job, but also most of them, like 40%, they find already a job, their job um, while doing their the internship or yeah. thesis. Um, uh, Fifty percent, they uh, uh, they already have a job before even they have uh, after they have graduated, they have the job already. Mm -hmm. And uh, for our international students, um, they have jobs home already. Some yeah. of them, and even if not, they have a lot of networking yeah, back yeah. home. Yeah. It is also possible to work in the Netherlands. Then yeah. you should think about the permits. You should think about the language a little bit. Yeah. But also maybe international organizations. They can also work there. But it's it's it's, it's a little bit complicated. Yeah. Yeah. So at this university, there is also the masters of urban and environmental management. So what are some of the differences between that masters and this masters of environmental science? Yes. Uh, uh, the differences is that uh, the, the master urban environmental management focuses on a specific theme, mm -hmm. and that is urbanization. Mm -hmm. And environmental sciences is broad and mm -hmm. uh, with so many other focuses mm -hmm. and choices, as I showed you um, yeah. the, the specializations we have. Excellent. Yes. And so as an international student, what is it like to study here? Uh, it's really nice, it's different, especially the weather and mm -hmm. everything, but uh, there are a lot of international students in the university as well, and it becomes for a a kind of community instead mm. of just a university and it's really nice to be in this kind of environment. Yeah definitely and are there any extracurricular activities available? There are a lot of extracurricular activities for students but uh, specifically for environmental sciences mm -hmm. we have a study association active slate so anyone who wants to join is... is so lots of things yeah. to do outside the class. Yeah. yeah. Well thank you very much for joining me today and answering these questions. Sadly, that's all we have time for, but I hope that we provided you with some more information about the Masters of Environmental Sciences here at Bargaining University. If you have any additional questions regarding the admissions process, then I would encourage you to email students at the.nl. In addition, I would encourage you to check out the video called Essentials for Studying at Bargaining University, which provides some more background information. Thank you very much for watching and we will hopefully see you here in the future at Wageningen University.